Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today we have lots of updates and lots to talk about. So first of all, I would like to welcome all of our Let's Go family members here. Thank you very much for always coming. And also a welcome to all of you who are new. We are really glad that you're here with us. If there is anyone who hasn't subscribed yet, we would just love it if you would consider subscribing to our channel. Not only will it help us out, but I think you're going to thoroughly enjoy it as well. We have an amazing Let's Go family member here that that will make you a part of and also um, I try to keep you up to date on anything that I think is important to do with um, going cruising right now as well as in the future and so we'd love it if you would join us so first of all I wanted to start off by thanking you all very much for all of your kind comments you are all so kind to me and to each other and uh, that means the world to me so thank you very much for taking the time to send comments to send updates and to help answer questions for each other. Thank you so much. And I want you to know that I read every single comment. If I don't have time to answer each one, just know that I have read your comment and I think of all of you often. I also wanted to let you know that our Facebook group, which is also called Let's Go Travel Tips, is also growing and it's becoming much more of a place where everyone can post their photos, there any information from a cruise and y'all talk about things and help each other out and so I would just invite you if you haven't gone there yet I think you'll really enjoy being a part of that because there is a lot of information shared there as a lot of as well as a lot of fun so I wanted to point that off to start out with now I want to just I know that we talk about princess you know the most here <laughs> but we love the other cruise lines as well and many of us cruise on other cruise lines in addition to princess and so I just wanted to start off and let you know there's just a couple of updates really quick with carnival you'll recall the other day that carnival had to cancel some of their cruises out of australia and in that region and as a result of that they're doing a little bit more shuffling so you know the carnival spirit was originally going to be sailing down there and now they are moving her i think this is really exciting to the port of jacksonville florida and she will start sailing um, cruises out of there on March 7th. And I love it that there are so many of these other ports in addition to the ones that we think of as the huge cruise ports, because I think it just makes cruising so much more accessible for a lot of people. I wish there was a way to make a cruise port for the inland states. <laughs> That'd be a little bit fun. But um, anyway, um, I wanted to let you know about that. Also, the Carnival Ecstasy is going to start sailing out of Mobile, Alabama. I don't know if you see it mobile or mo or mobile i had an eighth grade like this just came to my mind i had this history teacher and he was awesome but he was from mobile alabama and that's how he said it so anyway the carnival ecstasy like i said we'll start sailing out of there and the carnival sensation that restart on that um, return to cruising on that ship has been delayed a little bit and so i will keep my eye out for updates on that the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is New Zealand. Now through this whole pandemic, like the whole time, New Zealand has been so locked down like tight. <laughs> they have had the rule that even people that are from New Zealand, if you want to go back to New Zealand, you have to go into quarantine in a hotel and it's administered by the military there. So you're not going to wiggle out of it. <laughs> they are very strict about that. And so through um, a few um, things that have happened lately, they have come to realize that maybe that's a little bit tight. And so if you're from New Zealand and you're trying to go back to New Zealand, they are going to make it so that it looks like by the end of February, you will be able to go back. They're still going to ask you to please um, quarantine and um, be careful, at, like, but you can do that in your own home instead of having to do it through a hotel with the military. And then they are hoping that by October, they will be able to open things up enough to allow it so that um, tourists can come back. And as long as you are vaccinated, you will not have to quarantine. Now, if you're wanting to go there as a tourist and you're not vaccinated, you're going to have to quarantine. That looks like that will still be the protocol, but I'm sure as we get closer to October, um, we'll have more information on that. But I just wanted to let everyone know because I thought that was good news. And if you're looking at booking a cruise to New Zealand, like look after October and see what you can find. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you about is I see a lot of um, 
comments both here and on Facebook about um, testing. And I know that we have got people that, for example, are flying here from another country and they are worried about how to get testing once they're here. And often um, that two day window from when they leave home, um, like you have to do a test to come to the United States. And sometimes if you're going to travel any before you get on the ship and even just with flights and everything, it might be too uh, much time passed to be within two days of embarkation. And so um, I have a video all about testing to cruise and I'll link that below. Um, actually I have two about that and so I'll tuck them um, below. But I wanted to let you know of that option with docgo.com. Now that is one that we learned about, at least I learned about it for the first time under the Princess Protocols on that page, but they are a separate website and their website's a little bit funny. When you just go to .go.com, it comes up with kind of an interesting front page and um, you just have to click around and it's kind of a haphazard thing to try to get where you can um, like make yourself an account and log in to make an appointment for testing. So I will put the link below for um, signing up for a test and an account um, through DocGo um, for if you're going to go on a cruise or you can just Google DocGo um, cruise passenger and then that will bring you to their cruise page where they let you sign up. Now when you go to that page the really cool thing is is you make yourself just a quick account so that you can make a test appointment but it's really cool. The way you select when you're going to be tested is they list all of the ports with the ship. And so if we were going to do this, for example, on the cruise we just went on, we would have picked Fort Lauderdale, which is also called Port Everglades. And that's the way they refer to it as Port Everglades. And then it would have said Caribbean Princess. And we would have clicked on that. And then once you click on the ship that you want, you hit next and then you, um, then they let you know it's a $100 fee for an, a rapid antigen test. That's all they offer. And so you select that and go to next and then you can click to add yourself. And it's handy because if you want to add any other family members there, you can add them in. And then, um, once you hit next again, then you're to the calendar. And so I just double checked again today and the furthest out that you can book right now is through the end of February. I also had looked in January and it was still the end of February. So I'm not sure when in the month it opens up the next month. Does that make sense? So if you are wanting to book a test there, I think it's a really good option. It's right there at the port. Um, just keep watching for when it opens up for the month that you need. And I will try to remember here in February to keep my eye for when it opens for March. But um, I think that's a really good option because they do it right there at the port. And you do it just as you're going to embark on the ship. And um, so you schedule it just a little bit before you um, get on the ship, uh, you know, like a little bit before your embarkation time and away you go. So I think that's a really good option. The other thing that you can do is check the schedules for like Walgreens and CVS. Now I have noticed that there by the cruise port, sometimes those appointments are really full. I've also looked at them before when they were out of tests. And so um, that's another option though to keep in mind. Just want to let you know about that. Um, there are some other testing places, but as far as ones that could guarantee that you would have the results super fast, um, I think .go is certainly the best deal. It's also the easiest. You just go to the port and do it. But um, if any of you, I wanted to ask if any of you have had experience with testing before you boarded a ship in any of the ports, we would love to hear from you. And I want to add that, um, Last year, don't worry about sailing out of Europe, for example, right now and being tested because last year I really followed closely in all of the cruise lines that were running tests in Europe there. They would test you at the port included with your cruise. It was just routine. And so don't be worrying about that yet. I'm sure we'll hear about that as it gets a little bit closer and then we'll know what to plan for. But I've been following a few places um, and one of them is a place, it's called the Tour Guy if you want to look now. But he, we had done some tours um, through them in Rome in 2019 and now they are helping people sign up for testing locations in different big cities in Europe so I think that there's a lot of options out there so don't be worried. Now the next thing that, so if any of you have any questions on testing don't hesitate to ask I'll do my help, best to help and if I don't know maybe someone else will know the answer or I'll surely find out and um, like I said I'll put my video about that down below. The next thing um, that I wanted to let you know about, um, let's see, 
are some updates. So um, we have got um, on the Sky Princess, John was so kind to let us know. This is really interesting. They went to all of their ports. They're on the Western Caribbean cruise, but they did them in a little bit different order than it had originally showed on their itinerary. And so clearly for some reason or other, they had to do that, but they got to go to all of them. So that's awesome. He also said, that the um they've had a wonderful crew uh, cruise the crew is amazing and he just couldn't say enough good things about the sky princess right now so that i thought that was awesome news and i want to also add i've gotten updates just some quick emails from people on um, we also have um someone on just like the regal the majestic and um, the enchanted and they didn't really have anything particular to say other than they're having a great time Everything's going smoothly, having a great time. So I thought that was awesome. Now I have got some updates from the Emerald Princess. First of all, um, real quick, Marcy is on the Emerald Princess and she's been sending us a bunch of photos and so I'll get my husband um, on the job and we'll get those uploaded on our um, website. But bless her, she was sending pictures of menus and food she's having the best time on that ship and so I just wanted to let you know if you've got a Panama Canal cruise booked on the Emerald Princess you can be excited like it's wonderful um, now John he has been so kind to send us updates every day and let me tell you what he said and so today is February 3rd and yesterday February 2nd is when he sent me this last night it says it's Groundhog's Day, of course, on the Emerald Princess was their first day off the ship in Panama City. He said the crew seemed a little bit harried on the first um, tender <laughs> trip over, but by the second or third, it was going smooth. And I'm sure it was okay on those early ones, but you know, they just have to get the groove down a little bit, I'm sure. But um, he said they went on a tour of the old locks and a walking tour of old Panama City. And I love that because you might recall they went through the new locks, but um, I'm enough of a history buff that I really want to see those old locks too. Like really my goal is to do two separate cruises, one through the old locks and one through the new locks. And I think it sounds like just so cool to be able to tour those locks. So that's a side note. But anyway, he said um, the tour um, that they went on the old locks with Pan walking tour of Panama City was sold as a tour of 20, but it turned into a group of 44. So it sounds like there was a lot of interest and I'm glad they accommodated that interest because that's a long ways to go. It says that the visitor center at the Panama Canal was no problem with that many, that like it wasn't overly crowded, but he said in the narrow streets of old Panama, there were way too many people. And so I don't, um, my guess is that there were lots of other people that live there um, in those streets as well. I don't think he meant just because there was 44 people on the tour. I think he just meant that there was a lot more people out and about in the old um, part of Panama there on the streets. And so um, I would say if, you know what, he did not mention... I don't know if they had to wear their mask there or not, but if you're ever somewhere and putting on your mask gives you a layer of comfort, like go for it. Um, I know there's that whole big discussion about whether masks work, whether they don't. Um, I think on some level they do work for some things. I don't know about um, COVID. I'm not suggesting that I know for sure it helps with that, but I'm just saying um, spread out a little bit, put on a mask, do whatever so that you feel comfortable to be where you are. Um, let's see. Um, oh, the last thing I wanted to talk to you about is once again, just a quick update on ports. The only ports that we are really hearing of ships being turned away from now, we are not hearing from those troubles that we were having for a while in the Eastern um, Caribbean. And so I think that's great news. Nicaragua remains closed. But I did read one news article um, last night that said that it looks like Colombia is going to open their cruise ports really soon, but it was only one story that I could find. Usually I like to find several so that I have a good feeling about um, where uh, that it's accurate news. And so I'll keep my eye on Colombia, but it would be wonderful if, if that could open again so that people could visit the ports there. Those are the main ports that we're hearing of right now that um, still remain closed. And in addition to that I wanted to add I apologize the other day I had read several um, news reports that said that it was a Mexican national drug lord who killed the two people um, 
that were from Canada. And so then, um, bless you all, some of you said, you know, oh, it was another Canadian. And so I looked and saw those news reports too, but there's still news reports out there about it being a Mexican national. So whatever it is, um, I try to bring you <laughs> the most um, accurate information. So thanks for adding what you saw and still, you know what, everywhere we go, we should just be careful, not scared, not panicked, just keep our eye out. And so that's my thought. Um, the last thing um, I wanted to let you know is once again, a reminder, if anyone has any information or any content that you would like to see, please do let me know. You can put it in an email to us at Let's Go Travel Tips. If you've gotten any cruise that you're interested in and you want me to just see how much it would be for you to be able to go, um, I am happy to look that up for you as well or just find any information you need. So like I said, I've got an email and we've got um, the comments below as well as our Facebook page. Thank you all. If you appreciate these updates, would you please consider giving this video a thumbs up as that really helps us. It just kind of moves us up a little bit in the YouTube um, analytics and the way they do the search engine. And so I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.